in studio. Jeff, what's the latest on this? You have to wonder if the Phillies are going to have more players get the vaccine after going through this the last day and a half. The Phillies have fewer vaccinated players than most teams, and that could cost them dearly. It could have cost them today. Aaron Nola scratched from the start due to contact tracing. Nola, Alec Bohm, Connor Brogdon, and Bailey Falter all placed on the COVID list. Bohm is the only Philly to test positive, but since the Phils don't have at least 85% of the team vaccinated, they are subject to contact tracing and stricter protocols. This could have playoff ramifications. So Joe Girardi and the Phillies scrambling over the last 24 hours to find replacements for the finale in Boston. Pick it up in the fourth. Ronald Torres playing third for Bohm. The monster bomb. Three run shot. Torres with back to back three hit games. Fills up 5-1. And former Philly Nick Pavetta, he can't believe it. Phillies use six relievers today in the eighth. Red Sox within one. Rangers Suarez bases loaded jam. Gets out of it. Big moment for the bullpen. Then in the ninth, Suarez closes it out. One, two, three, save. Nice play, Reese Hoskins. Phillies win 5-4. It's the first time in two years. They win back-to-back -back series on the road. What a way to go into the break. They're 500 and three games at a first. I've said all along this is a resilient group, and we've probably had as many tough losses as any team in baseball, and we have found a way. Um, Two weeks we were ago, we were kind of in a nightmarish week. Um, you know, the last 10 days we've played extremely well. We beat some good teams, um, taken some series from good teams. We had a winning road trip. Extremely proud. And he should be. All right, the Phillies, they've struggled to develop talent. They have one of the worst minor league systems in baseball, but they're hoping that changes tonight in the MLB draft. With the 13th overall pick in the first round, Phillies take Andrew Painter, a massive six foot seven right handed high school pitcher. Painter's only 18 years old, but he can hit 98 miles per hour. He's from Cavalry Christian Academy in Florida, where he played with Joe Girardi's son. Congratulations to Mainland High School's Chase Petty tonight. He's drafted 26 overall by Minnesota. How about some hugs and tears with family and friends? Petty, the player of the year in New Jersey, can hit over 100 miles per hour with his fastball. So what will the Sixers end up doing with Ben Simmons? Who better to ask than Charles Barkley, who does not hold back. Barkley tells me this is serious. Simmons' trade value is very low since he's afraid to shoot. Ben deserves most of the blame, but the Sixers deserve some blame too. Cause we've been, we've been, listen, Jeff, if you've been talking about the same problem from years and years, that means the organization has failed also. More from Barkley tonight on Sports Sunday coming up at 1145, including his advice to Ben and if he believes it can be fixed. Barkley says the Sixers will not be able to get to the NBA Finals or win a championship until Simmons starts shooting. Speaking of, it is hard to watch Game 3 of the NBA Finals tonight with the 76ers at home. Here we go, Game 3 in Milwaukee. Bucks finally shine in the Finals against the Suns. Drew Holiday to Giannis Antetokounmpo. What a show. 41 points and 13 boards for the Greek Freak. Then heads up play here. Off the air ball, Giannis. He ends up in the air. Milwaukee winners, 120-100. Suns still lead the series two games to one. What a scene at Wimbledon today. Men's final, number one ranked Novak Djokovic comes back against Matteo Berrettini. Match point, it goes back and forth, back and forth forever. But finally, Djokovic wins his sixth title at Wimbledon. And how about the reaction? For his record-tying 20th Grand Slam title, he's the first to win the first three of the year in 52 years. All right, down the road in London at Wembley where the Eagles played a few years ago. They are fired up for the Euro final and what a finish. Italy, England go to a shootout. Italy needs the save to win. Got it. Italy beats England in a shootout. Their first European championship in 53 years. We saw everyone so fired up there. That's because they had to wait a year for this to be played. The pandemic pushing it back until now. Always right. crazy when it ends that way, yeah. though. PKs, thank you. All right, thank you, Jeff.